So hello and welcome to the video. A couple of GeoGuessr videos that I've made have been quite well received, but not perhaps widely watched. But I'm going to persevere with this different type of content. And having recently watched a very similar video on a channel called Jack Sucks at Geography, I'm going to attempt a different game today. That game involves naming all 197 countries of the world in under 15 minutes. Well, I say name them, but you actually have to type them in, which means you actually have to spell them correctly, which makes this quite a challenge. So very early on in the history of this channel, I made a couple of videos where I talked about the number of countries in the world. So I know from that that the 197 total comprises 193 full United Nations members, two observers, which are the Vatican City and Palestine, plus the two most country-looking non-countries in the world, which are Kosovo and Taiwan. So having researched that video not that long ago, I think I'm in pretty good shape to have a tilt at this. I've had a couple of dry runs at this, so I do know there's a couple of traps as regards the country names, which I think I will surmount. So let's have a go. Hi, I'm Matt. Over the last 25 years, I've traveled a lot. I've lived in five countries on four continents. I've flown over 1.3 million miles. I've visited over 100 countries, every American state, but I'm nowhere near done. So subscribe to the channel so you can come with me. Right. Here's the format. 197 is my target. 15 minutes is my goal. And we are off. It's clearly all about the spelling. Canada, the USA, Mexico. Oh, not a great start. Mexico, then Panama, Costa Rica, Guatemala, Nicaragua, Honduras. Belize is the tiddler in there. And El Salvador is the one that I've not been to in Central America. South America is Colombia. It is Venezuela. It is Ecuador. It is Peru. Darkest or otherwise. Then you've got the Chile turning the corner to Argentina. Then Brazil. In the middle you have Uruguay and Paraguay, which I've spelt wrong again. And Bolivia is the cheeky one in the middle. Three of the old Guyanas. British Guyana is an independent country. French Guyana isn't. And Dutch Guyana is now known as Suriname. Caribbean, bit trickier this one. Which of the islands are independent and which ones aren't? Well, Cuba certainly is. The Bahamas certainly is. Jamaica certainly is. Then Dominican Republic is one but it will give you Dominica as an independent country first. I can spell that right. There we go. Haiti is the other half of the Dominican Republic. Then you're down to the islands. Now I know Antigua must be paired with Barbuda. And I've spelt it wrong. There we go. I also know that St. Vincent is not paired with the Grenadines. I also know ooh, Grenada, the only Commonwealth country to be invaded by the US in my lifetime. You have St. Lucia, you have St. Uh, Kitts and Nevis, and you have a couple more. Let's think hard. St. Vincent Trinidad and Tobago. And one more. We'll have to come back to that. Right, let's now do Europe. UK, Ireland, France, Belgium, Netherlands, Spain, Portugal. Right, let's do all the tiddlers. So Andorra, Monaco, San Marino. Vatican City, that counts, and Liechtenstein, not forgetting the biggest of the tiddlers, Luxembourg. Then going north, you've got Denmark, Sweden, Norway, um, Finland, Germany, 
Poland, Czechia, the new name for Czech Republic, Slovakia, Austria, Switzerland, I'm not sure if I've done Italy, I haven't. Right, there are then six former Yugoslav republics, which are Slovenia, Serbia, does happen you move off the box so let's try Slovenia, Serbia, Croatia, Montenegro, North Macedonia as it is now known and Bosnia and Herzegovina and Kosovo which is one of the odd ones that they are including even though it's not formally a country. That part of the world you've also got Albania, Bulgaria, Romania, Malta, Cyprus, Greece and Turkey. Right, let's do the 15 countries that the former USSR split into, which has got the worst of the spelling challenges in it. So we'll start with Russia, Estonia, Lithuania, Latvia, Belarus, Ukraine, Moldova, which is very easy to forget. Then you jump to Armenia, uh, Georgia, Azerbaijan. Then you've got four that are very tricky to cover, which is Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan, Turkmenistan, and didn't quite get the spelling on that one. Turkmenistan and Uzbekistan. I've got one in the middle of Europe there, Hungary. I always forget. And Iceland up there. So that is Europe pretty much done. Let's do Asia next. Easy one is China, Japan, oops, North Korea, South Korea, Mongolia, Mongolia, um, Philippines, one L, two P's. You've got India, it's gone again. India, Pakistan, Afghanistan, Sri Lanka. You've got East Pakistan, otherwise known as Bangladesh, Myanmar, Nepal and Bhutan. You have got Vietnam, Laos, Cambodia, Thailand, Malaysia, Singapore, don't forget little Brunei, which counts, um, and Taiwan, which means this was probably banned in China. Right, Papua New Guinea is down there. You've also got East Timor, which is formerly part of Indonesia. You've got my other homeland of Australia in Zad. Right, South Pacific, bit tricky, but we have Fiji, we have Samoa, we have Tonga, we have the Marshall Islands, we have Micronesia as a separate country, we have Tuvalu, we have Kiribati, we have Nauru, and we have Palau, which leaves me a couple. Solomon Islands is the extension of Papua New Guinea, and Vanuatu, which is gorgeous with the bluest water I have ever seen anywhere in the world. Right, we've got that pesky one in the Caribbean, which will hopefully not prove to be a stumbling block. So let's go for Africa. So Morocco, Algeria, Tunisia, Libya, Egypt, we have got 
South Sudan as well as regular Sudan. We have got um, Senegal, which surrounds Gambia. Sierra Leone, we have got Guinea, which then unlocks Guinea-Bissau. Liberia, which is pretty handy. You have got Mauritania. You have got Mali. You have then got Burkina Faso. You've got the Ivory Coast. You've got Ghana, Benin, Togo, Nigeria, and Niger trumps Nigeria. In the middle of Africa, you've got Chad. You've got the Central African Republic, famously. Oh, South Africa includes Lesotho, Eswatini, as it now likes to be called. You have Mozambique next door. Madagascar, just over the water. Uh, Mauritius. Mauritius, the Seychelles. You also have the Maldives in the Indian Ocean. So back up to the top, you've got Eritrea, Ethiopia, Ethiopia, Djibouti. Sure, there's a joke I could make about that. Somalia on the end. Then coming down the side, you've got Kenya, Tanzania, You have Uganda, you have the couple of Tiddlers, Rwanda and Burundi. Then you have Zambia. You have Zimbabwe, you have Malawi, you have the Comor Islands, Comoros Islands, Botswana, Namibia, Angola, Gabon over there. You have Equatorial Guinea, another Guinea. Sao Tome and Principe is the one with the really odd and unusual form of its name. It's usually Et Principe. Then you have the Democratic Republic of Congo as opposed to the Republic of Congo. Got one left over there, Liberia, Guinea-Bissau. Mm, ah, that is Cape Beard. So that is Africa, Middle East, Saudi Arabia. You have Israel, you have Palestine, another observer to the United Nations, Syria, Iraq, and Iran. Then moving down the Gulf, you have Jordan, you have uh, Kuwait, Bahrain, Qatar, the UAE, which they conveniently abbreviate for you, Oman and Yemen, uh, which leaves one more in the middle there, Lebanon. I do tend to forget, which leaves me two. I've got one in West Africa, Cameroon and one in the Caribbean, which is St. Vincent Barbados. And there you go, 197 countries in just over 12 minutes. I'm not trying to show off by making this video. Some of you will know all the names of the players in the Man United under 23 squad. Some of you will know the name of all of the books that Terry Pratchett ever wrote. And anyone who goes through medical school, one of the first things they have to learn are the 206 bones in the body. I just happen to be able to remember 197 countries. So thanks for watching. I hope that was enjoyable. Is that the word? Educational? I don't know. Somewhere between the two. But thanks again for watching. Like, subscribe and comment. And I'll see you all again soon. Goodbye.